First and foremost, you're a veterinarian. So you've got to make sure that your veterinary practice is running efficiently, you're profitable, that sort of thing. And if that's going well for you and you feel like boarding would be another driver to get more clientele, maybe you're wanting to expand and having a boarding uh, option at your hospital might help, then yeah, it's definitely something you can, should consider. But again, your primary focus needs to be veterinary medicine and let the boarding be the icing on top of the cake if, if that's something that you think would be, be beneficial. Does it have to be luxury? I think that, again, that's, that's a clientele-based decision. You have to look at who your clients are and, and what kind of motivators they have. You know, if you're in a more rural setting community, luxury boarding probably isn't going to serve your community. Even some of the suburban areas, you know, it, you just have to kind of play it with, with your clientele, see what, what their driving factors are. And luxury boarding is a nice option, but um, it is more expensive to construct. And so, um, again, when, it, when you play with the numbers and the profitability side of things, it might not be the right answer. And, you know, with adding boarding, you have to be conscious, too, of the staffing that it's going to take to do that. Um, you now have to have someone in the hospital overnight um, with these animals just in case something goes down that you need to, to be there for. And so all these factors play a part. Most people think uh, boarding's super easy. It's gonna be super profitable. I think it's good um, if it's something that you want to use to bring more clients to your facility and uh, capitalize on, on bringing more vet patients in by maybe offering boarding as well.